Welcome everyone and good afternoon or good morning depending on where you are joining us from. In today's webinar we will learn how to simplify the template selection process by learning how to use the Congo Composer template selection parameter. The template selection parameter allows you to select up to 10 different templates on the fly for your merge process. My name is Teresa Coltrane and I'm a Learning and Development Specialist here at Conga and I'm a part of our Product Education and Learning and Development team and I'm looking forward to taking you guys through today's session. Uh, a recording of today's session will be sent um, in a follow-up email after the webinar. You can also check out our support site congasphere.com for more information around this topic. Um, but if you did register for this webinar, you will receive a recording um, of today's session. So if you're attending this webinar today, you might be wondering how to simplify the template selection process for you and your end users and figure out a way to send multiple templates in a single merge process. So we will be covering that today um, throughout the session. Uh, for today's session, we'll make a couple of assumptions. Um, one, we'll assume that you may be a Salesforce admin and you also are probably the Conga admin at your company and that you've already created some Conga Composer solutions. If not, and you are new to Conga, we do have a great support site called Conga sphere.com um, along with a Congo University that takes you through some entry-level courses um, on using Conga Composer. So um, so get excited we'll get started in today's session and um, if you do have any questions go ahead and submit them through the chat window and we will be sure to follow up with you directly after the webinar. We'll send you an email and um, just reach out to you um, and help answer any questions you may have for today's session. All right, so let's review our agenda today. Uh, so we will be reviewing a use case of wh when and why you might need to select multiple templates in a single merge process. And then we'll edit the Conga URL and add parameters to help with the multi-selection template process. And then we'll select spe specific templates from our list um, to use in a single merge process. And then we'll go ahead and test out that solution at the end. So it should be fairly quick, um, probably about 15 minutes today. So um, uh, we'll get you out of here and get you on your way to the rest of what you were doing today. All right, so let's go ahead and he head over to Salesforce. So typically when you run a, a regular Composer solution, um, the UI looks like this. You know, you have the option to select one template from over here. You can kind of adjust the output file option, save a copy, activity logging. So this is what you'll see for the typical user interface um, when, you, when you are not using the select template parameter. Um, but let's go ahead and run a button, which was the first one I clicked on, um, that has the select template parameter added to the Composer URL. So you still see a list of templates here on the left-hand side, um, but now you have the option to select multiple templates um, at the same time to use in your merge process. So like I mentioned, you can use up to 10. We'll go ahead and just select a group here just to kind of show you guys a quick example. Um, and once you've added those templates over here to the right hand side, you can go ahead and click next. And then it takes you to the normal user interface that you would see um, when you're running a normal composer solution without adding that parameter um, in there as well. And so, um, what happens, like, let's say you want to be able to, let's say you know that you have three to five templates that are pretty standard for a closing that you know you're going to send every time and you want to just be able to quickly get to those three to five templates. Um, you can do that by using the um, template, um, select templates parameter. So um, let's go ahead and go to our button really quick and go ahead and add that um, select templates parameter. So I'll go, I already have an existing button for today's session. So we'll go in and just edit and we're going to go ahead and add in the select templates parameter. So it's ampersand select templates equals one. And so where I'm getting this from today, just so you guys have a quick reference um, and can follow along today. Um, if you go to our support site, which is congasphere.com, um, we have a lot of different resources you guys can use, um, but if you go under Customize, and you can go under Index of Parameters or Parameter Categories, and so we're working on um, template selection parameters, and so we're using Select Templates, and this is the parameter that I am using for today's session. Um, and I'll go ahead and put this in the chat window so you guys can click on it from your end. Um, that way you can go ahead and 
take a look at it while we're doing class today or just check it out later. Um, but that's just on our support site. That's where I'm grabbing um, those resources from today. So let's go back to our button. So we went ahead and added um, select templates equals one. So that's enabling that feature. So it's telling Conga that we want to be able to select multiple templates at the time of our merge process. So let's go ahead and save that. And we'll go back to our button. And let's go ahead and run our seals docs button. And so now you'll see once this opens, this is going to put us in that mode again where we can select um, we can select multiple templates all at the same time. So now we have that capability to select wherever we want um, and go ahead and add all those in um, just kind of on the fly here to do an output in um, into Conga Composer here. So one thing to point out is once you've gathered your templates here, um, you basically have the option depending on what type of file out, output option you're doing so if we went ahead and did merge and download what Conga is going to do is it's going to just gather um, all of the word templates and just separate them all um, as single like as individual files here I'm sorry about that so it'll just separate them all if you were to change your output file to be an um, Adobe PDF and merge and download that's going to come that's going to compress all of the documents you selected into one large document so it's just going to comp compress all three into one. So that's what happens if you use it in Adobe PDF. And then finally, if you um, are wanting to use the um, email option, uh, what that'll do is create a zip file with all of the um, with all the documents you've kind of selected. So um, if we went ahead, I'll just do it really quickly and show you guys. So we'll go next. And then if we wanted to just use the email option, what it'll do is just create a zip file um, in the email option for us. So we'll go ahead and just use email here. And I'll close this really quick and we'll do merge an email and that will generate a zip file kind of at the bottom here. So it's going to gather all those documents for us. So again, why would we want to use this? So let's say you have a scenario um, where you know you're going to send a welcome letter and you know you're either going to send a quote or a, tra um, a training price quote or a contract or an invoice or an invoice for training. You know you just are going to send um, you know, a few of those different options within a single merge process. And you don't want to have to scroll through this long list that we're looking at right now, right? So you're like, okay, I've got all these you know, templates that we're looking through. There's a lot to scroll through. But I know I'm going to send out these specific templates. So there's another parameter you can use to kind of help further simplify this process. And that parameter is called um, template group. So what we can do is add the template group parameter to our button URL to specifically grab those um, specific five documents you want to be able to select at the time of the single merge process. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys a good, quick example of that. Close out of here really quick. So we'll go back to our button here. And now we're going to add the parameter called template group. So we'll just do ampersand template group equals and oops sorry equals and so how we how we get access to this if you remember if you've got your templates stored in the conga template manager when you go into those templates you have an option when you go into the template records you have an option to go ahead and give those templates a group name so i'm just going to call mine closing just because these are um, going to be docs that I send at closing time. But what we can do is we can apply that template group to the specific set of templates that you're going to want to be sending each time. And then that way Conga is going to grab those specific five templates um, with the template selection parameter. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add closing to the rest of these um, templates really quick, these template records. And we'll show you how Conga is going to just gather these specific templates at that time of merge process without having to scroll through that big list of templates as you see. I've got a pretty long list there. Um, so this will make it a lot easier to be able to select specific ones. And I think I just have one more I wanted to grab, maybe two more. So again, I'm just adding a template group so um, Conga will know to grab that specific one. I think there's one more after this. I just want to grab my welcome letter as well. So I think it's down here. So this is super helpful. It's a good way to organize all of your all of your different templates you might have in your system um, and simplify that for the end user. So now that we've called our template group closing, let's go ahead and add that to the parameter. So 
In addition to the select templates parameter, we also added the template group parameter. So ampersand template group equals, and then you're just going to put in that name. I don't know why that moved it down to the next line, but um, I'm just going to type in closing. And so Conga is going to know to grab all those templates that have that specific template group tied to them. So let's go ahead and test that out really quick. I'm just going to do a quick refresh on my page here. And let's go ahead and run our sales docs option. All right, so now instead of having that really long list that you guys saw earlier, now I've got my specific template templates that I know I'm going to send each time. And this time, now I can just choose the specific ones I want. Like, So for example, I know I'm going to send my contract. I know I'm going to send my welcome letter this time. And maybe um, I'll just do the training price quote. And that's all I need to send right now. So that's perfect. And that list was, you know, size down to a, a easy list to kind of scroll through for my end users as well and it's organized. I know exactly what options I have at the time of closing to send to my customer. So again, I can go through the rest of the merge process, choose my output file type um, and adjust anything else I might want to use at that time. So it's a pretty helpful thing to, um, it's a pretty good parameter to use in with our um, select templates parameter. So select templates enables us to select multiple templates all at the same time and then using that template group further simplifies that list for us if you've got a really long list this is super helpful um, to use that to kind of just gather those specific templates you know you're going to use at closing um, now let's say you know you're always going to send a welcome letter at closing so let's just say you really just don't even want to have to click on that when you go to select your other templates let's say you just want that automatically selected you can do that by using another parameter called um, uh, template ID parameter. And so what that'll do is it'll take the specific template ID of that welcome letter and it's just going to plunk over that template for us on that right hand side um, when we're choosing our templates. So let's go ahead and test that process out. So we'll do ampersand template ID equals and what we need to do is we need to go back to our template manager um, and grab the ID of that welcome letter. Um, so I know that every time I send my closing docs, I'm always going to send this welcome letter, so I don't want to have to try to select it or have my end, user, end users maybe forget to select it. So by doing this, this is going to automatically select it for us without us having to worry about selecting that. So again, it's just ampersand template ID, and then I went ahead and grabbed that template ID from the record, and we'll go ahead and save this. We'll go back to our button here, do a quick refresh, and we'll run our sales docs button here. And then now you'll see that our welcome letter is going to automatic, automatically be selected for us on this right hand side right here. So my end users don't even have to worry about forgetting to accidentally select that one. Um, it's just already going to be there. In addition to that, I can send my contract if I want to. I can send a price quote and then go from there and choose my output file type. Output file type. Um, from there. So those three parameters are pretty helpful and can kind of help you organize and further streamline that template selection process. Um, and if you all attended the last webinar we had um, two weeks ago, it was on dynamically selecting templates based on a stage of an opportunity using a Salesforce formula field. So that's also really cool is if um, you want your whole Conga solution to be conditional. So based off of maybe if you've got your if you've got your opportunity as a stage close one, it's going to go ahead and specifically select a specific template to use at that time when you're running the merge process. So that's also pretty cool. You can find that webinar recording on our support site um, if you go to Conga TV. We've got a lot of different um, videos you guys can watch here. There's our recorded webinars are listed here, and I believe that one is under um, dynamically selecting Conga Composer templates using a formula field. So that's what we covered um, two weeks ago. Uh, but this is a great page for you guys to check out. We've got other recorded webinars. We've got our skill sessions that kind of are further deeper dives into certain things you can do with Congo Composer. We've got some quick starts. So um, definitely check out our support site. Again, it's congosphere.com. And that's pretty much all I had to show you guys today. It was a pretty quick, short webinar um, just simply on how to use those specific parameters to go ahead and make that template selection process easier. So the select templates is really what makes the multi-selection at once happen. So select templates, you have to enable that, set that equal to one. And then we use the template group 
parameter, which allows allowed us to gather a specific group of templates to be displayed in that list so we don't have to scroll through a long list. It further simplified that process for us. And then finally, um, we also use the template ID um, to automatically select a specific template um, for us and help out the end user just so they don't forget to select a specific one at the time of the merge process. So hopefully you guys found that um, to be helpful um, and hopefully it's a good use case for you guys um, in your organization. I just wanna go ahead and flip back to our slides here. So stay tuned, we have webinars every month. We've got the schedule up for November on our site as well. So the next one's gonna be on mail merge. It's mail merge season. Um, so Conga mail merge is a free add-on to Conga Composer and it's perfect for creating your end of year mailings or anything you might need to do and mass quantities for mailing. Um, mail merge is an awesome part of our product. So you should definitely check that out. It's gonna be on Tuesday, November 3rd at 9 a.m. Um, Mountain Standard time. So hopefully we'll all see you there. And then finally, again, I talked about our resources. We do have a Conga University, and you can get there by going to our support site. If you're on our main homepage, you just click on the Conga University screen here, and it will take you to a list of all the different um, courses that we have available. Um, some are self-paced and some are instructor-led. Um, we've got a schedule for um, the U.S. and EMEA and APAC, so you can take a look at all those. But once you click into those courses, it'll take you to our support site, our training site, actually, to create an account, and you can register for classes there. So that's always a good opportunity um, if, you're, if you are new to Conga or if you're just wanting to further deepen your knowledge with Conga and some other products, we highly um, encourage you to check that out. Um, and then also, if you go to Congosphere and search select templates parameter, that'll help you find some resources on the parameters that we covered today. We also have quick start videos and admin guides. Um, and on our website, we've got use cases from our other customers and what they use Congo Composer for. So um, that's always helpful too if you need a little inspiration to kind of jumpstart some other options for you and your end users. So thanks so much for joining today and thank you for your time. Um, we hope you found it valuable and we hope you have a great rest of the week. Thanks so much.